Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hello and welcome to Share Talk. Today I'm joined by Colin Bird, who is executive chairman at Galileo Resources. How are you today, Colin? Not so bad, thank you. And you? I'm doing fine. Uh, I saw that uh, Galileo uh, posted uh, an RNS uh, this morning, and uh, one of the reactions um, were on on Twitter, at least, was that. Uh, uh, CB seems to be buying half of Africa. Is uh, are you guilty of that at the moment? Well, it might look like that, um, Zach, and um, I, I guess um, Africa, where the copper is, um, some of it, um, not necessarily, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm ensuring that our shareholders and, of course, the company um, is well positioned in, in what I regard, and I think in my uh, RNS as well, I talk about the United States geological mission being um, excited about as being the you know the most attractive emerging region in the world and uh, worked hard and quite a few weeks to, to get this acquisition so had to be done um, complete our portfolio I think I say in the announcement and uh, a very very nice asset that we've required uh, and in terms of uh, the, the value of the asset are you happy with the uh, the price you paid and uh, what you've paid for well, you know, our business is about, I mean, you know, there's several several levels. The first level, of course, is concept. And then concept going to greenfields, greenfields going to brownfields, brownfields going to advanced feasibility study, feasibility study goes in mines. And about six or seven years later, if you're lucky, you, you've got a mine. This has gone quite a way up the learning curve, you know. It's, um, it's uh, got drill results already. There's a best part of 14 kilometers of strike to be tested it's 15 kilometers away from an existing processing plant uh it's on trend and there are many other areas um uh, well there are other areas adjacent to it which have got similar prospectivity and the indications are this might this could well be some of the shallowest um, copper to be found on the calari copper belt so if you um put it all together and say well that's about three seventy thousand dollars i think that's what it is in u.s dollars um, to me, that's a super duper um, acquisition in what is a, a very odd uh, copper acquisition market. So, valid, I'm happy with the valuation. I'm delighted. I'm delighted, and it's been a lot of sweat and um, brushing the forehead um, trying to get it over the line. But over the line, it is. I'm very, very pleased with it. Um, so. Well, I mean, uh, clearly copper at the moment is uh, the, one of the hot commodities around. Um, how does, I mean, how, uh, what's your outlook regarding copper? And uh, obviously, uh, how do you think that will uh, affect uh, your latest purchase? I think, that, you know, I'm very much a copper bill. I think, that bull, I think that's, that's well known. The copper fundamentals are absolutely terrific. That, uh, by 2030, they're forecasting they'll need twice as much copper. The Chinese have, um, quite frankly, the, the warehouses are just about empty. Uh, anybody producing copper at the moment is sitting in a good place. The traders are actually buying forward um, in anticipation of copper shortages. And I think I've said before um, in various audiences around around the UK and the world for that matter that, uh, you know, today's mine is big and beautiful. And uh, big and beautiful has got its benefits. It's also got its cost, and that's something like 10 years and $3 billion to build a mine in Chile. And then you've got the social unrest. So to be in a very nice jurisdiction like Botswana, very mining friendly, the Switzerland of Africa, politically as stable as you can get, would welcome foreign investment to have copper in that jurisdiction, some proven, 14 kilometers on strike already and the ability to build up that strike. Um, yes, it fits in my... It fits in my copper aspirations, and boy, do I believe in the metal. In fact, you know, I'm a, I'm a bull on um, all of the base metals, but particularly copper. And, of course, you will have noticed in the announcement that uh, silver is in association. And uh, I think Sunfire reported over four ounces in one of the, their drill hours. We're reporting about an half an ounce in these. I mean, and it does vary as you go along um, the system. So... Ring copper and, and silver is no mean metal to be in either. You know that's had a, a decent run of late, but uh, obviously any 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 um, credits from silver are, are completely overtaken by just the, the good grades of copper and the and the proximity 
and 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 the, the underlying fundamentals. So you said so that you're, copper it is and uh, well placed. You said that you're uh, not you know you you you've done your buying for now. Um, you've got a six million pound company uh, market cap company in Galileo. What's the what's the outlook in terms of what happens next in terms of production, uh, etc. Well, you, I think you've summed it up there. It, you know, you can do what we've just done for the pure, pure technical fundamentals which I've just articulated. Um, but there's also strategy, Zank, and you know that's a bit of a kind of a middle piece in the jigsaw. It's it's uh, it's um, in between Sunfire and um, and Cooper Canyon. It's big enough to stand alone. And so, therefore, that completes my jigsaw. The other part of the jigsaw is we're west of A4, Sandfire. Um, the other side of the jigsaw is that we're north east as well of um, Sandfire. We've probably got four domes, and this is what leads to the big, big deposits within our portfolio. So, what next? Um, we've got a busy, we're going to be busy boys, but the, the good news. Zach and I'm, you know, I've had in my career, I've had so many disappointments with geophysics. You know, they give you bogus, re well, not bogus readings, but what you expect to be a big copper ore body, a nickel ore body, sometimes ended up to be banded ironstone or a water mass. But this time around, all of the companies operating within that um, region have found their um, have found their ore bodies by a combination of geophysics and, and geochemistry with. You know, X marks the spots where the geophysics and the geochemistry uh, superimpose them, and you, you can bet your bottom dollar you've got copper. But interestingly, there you, you, you made me think a little bit. You know that um, what is important, Zach, is that the, the guys who found this um, in the first instance and drilled drilled on geochemistry. It hasn't had the benefit of any geophysics. So not only will we be able to um, well, we will be able to better place our drill targets based on a combination of geophysics and geochemistry, not just geochemistry. And, of course, that will open up all the other areas to us. But there's an indication there that the sand is thinning, and I think we stand a good chance of, of getting a dome which is close to surface, and hopefully the, the, some of the shallowest mineralization found in the Calari deposit. So in a nutshell, let's answer your question in a nutshell. A lot to do now completed the portfolio strategically, technically, and uh, upwards and onwards. Um, Galileo's got to get on with it and bring its shareholders some, some exploration success leading towards, hopefully, um, feasibility in a mine. That's the ambition. Colin Bird, Executive Chairman at Galileo Resources, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Zach. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.